All right, Grand Rising, and uh, good afternoon. It is Shalanda, and we are going to um, go ahead and look at um, a couple of these here journals that I made. Um, again, hi. I guess I kind of just, I don't know, hope that we can see. Can I see? Okay, we can see. And so, you know, um, I made these journals um, out of some 70s uh, wallpaper. Um, and I just used like a cardboard or like, um, I don't know if you guys know those. Um, the large, I think that's what the, yeah. The large file uh, folders for like a, one of those Michaels rolling cart things. I mean, I mean, a file cabinet, I'm sorry. <clears throat> so I had a bunch of those left over that I don't use anymore. So I just started turning them into, you know, journal covers. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. And I don't know, it's just something about these type of patterns <laughs> that I like. And, you know, at the time I was trying to help my uh, dad make, uh, turn one of his apartments into like an Airbnb. <laughs> and um, I did it like 70s style right like deep 70s pots and pans with like mushrooms and kind of like with this kind of pattern on it right <laughs> um and so i was just in a in a mood then and i ended up ordering uh some wallpaper and again this is what it was so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up and it just has this little closure piece and i guess oh i may be Hmm. Ah, I didn't notice that. So this one, again, I didn't put a, I guess I didn't put a button on it. I could have sworn there was a button. It had to be. Yeah, it was. Somebody ripped it off. It's probably my granddaughter. <laughs> so anyways, um, so again, this is just like a little journal. Like I said, I have one, um, you know, of my own that I made like this, but I just made it like black and white. Um, hold on one second. So, I mean, it's kind of beat up and stuff a little bit, but um, this one I made for myself. It's just the one that I carry in my purse and stuff when I just want it. Cause I just be, you know, I need to remember stuff sometimes. Um, and or it might be something that I'm like thinking on and I might not be able to finish thinking <laughs> until later. So, you know, it's just like something that I just bring around with me. So anyways, <clears throat> I don't know exactly. I don't know if this journal was finished, to be honest with you, as actually if I'm looking at it. But anyways, I mean, it could still just be a card that's in there. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm like turning in somebody that likes to make covers for some reason a lot now. Let me see. Okay, yeah, you can see. All right, let's make sure. So again, some coffee tea dye paper, um, music sheet story book, encyclopedia paper, or dictionary, either one. And again, in these journals, there's gonna be like it's really just like a scrap or junk journal, so it's really gonna be a lot of stuff. Something might be ripped a little bit or upside down, things like that. And I put these large. I don't know. I like the yellowing or whatever on the back. And then I put this little thing here with a little bead on it or beads. A little pen, just some embossed um, chicken wire cardstock, um, washi tape. Oh, excuse me. And let me see what I did right here. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I put these on here probably when I glued it, um, so that we can turn this into a pocket which is what it is, a pocket. And then um, just have this image here. S 
De what is this paper called? Stenographer, stenographer, I can't remember. <laughs> um, paper, right? Um, okay, that's one thick piece of paper. Um, again, another piece to this. I don't know what it is about, like, any type of 80s, like, you know, people that, that was, like, really, um, I don't know, the imagery from the 80s, and even before, you know, I don't know what it is about it, but I just like it. Like, the depth of the colors and things like that, I don't know, it's just something that made me happy, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, this is just a napkin, scallop napkin, um dyed paper and I just did a little bit of a stencil on there like you know supposedly like a cup was sitting here or cups <laughs> um tea dyed um elementary school line paper whatever you call it um another one of those cards another image from the book I thought this, I like the way this layout turned out. With the door. <laughs> I mean the window, sorry. <laughs> With the window and, um, I don't know, just I guess the way all the layers look on top of each other with the colors. Like these are probably like my favorite like colors. Remind me like a dream, like a one of those orange sickles and like a mint. Not that they go together, but I'm just, I don't know. This is something about it I like. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so, again, um, loaf breads, uh, some, what do you call it? You know what, paper? <laughs> Graph paper. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I've been having a hard time sleeping lately. More stenciling over here with the bur, uh, the burlap, uh, stencil okay more of that paper some old old writing paper some pages from an herb book tea dyed uh coffee filter and i don't know i just thought to do this and i thought it was really nice i like the way it turned out um yeah i like the way it turned out it's something about embossed stuff that just made me just, <laughs> okay? So, then you got this paper, and I don't know if you can tell, but it has like some gold, it's like a, yeah, some, um, it's like a raised gold, some stuff on there or something, I don't know. Stenciling, pages from an old uh, furniture book. More stenciling. This one I think is like a splatter. More of those dictionary pages. More, this is like extreme, one-sided, extreme coffee dye paper, if you ask me. And a little bit of the fabric um, tape from, um, I think it's Tim Holtz. If I'm not, yeah, it is. Um, so it's like the fabric uh, washi tape. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Again. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, this is also pretty. Uh, nice here too. Um, I don't know. Sorry, something just came to mind. Anyways, uh, let's keep going. I like this layout too, for some reason. I guess maybe like the, uh, contrast between the it actually kind of goes with the pink 
So this really red. And I don't know. I just like the way it looks. Okay. I, I don't know. I love this book. I be trying not to use that many pages out of it. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the look of it. But, you know, again, I got too much stuff. <laughs> I got to start, like, using it. So. And then this is from, like, a um, vintage clown book. I don't know what the name of it is. Or a circus book. Okay. So this just is, a, it, there's really no rhyme or reason to the journal. There's no real whatever. It's just, I mean, I can imagine all this stuff like somebody's in the 70s kitchen would have, you know, the butterflies and the recipe cards and the nasty looking food. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking, who would look at this picture and say, oh, I want to make <laughs> I'm sorry. It might be mean, but no, I'm saying for real. Like, because how we do things today. I mean, I guess not like it's always the best way, but I'm just saying, come on. This don't look appetizing to me. And, I, and all the time when I look at these recipe cards and I look at some of these book pages, I'm like, who picked up this book and said, I need to make this tonight. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. Well, we don't have a name attached to the picture, so they feelings won't get too hurt. <laughs> mm. So, again, it says, the Parliament of Roses to Julia. Hmm. Dreamt the roses one time, went to meet and sit in Parliament. The place for these and for the rest of flowers was thy spotless breast. Over the which a state was drawn of Tiffany or uh, cobweb lawn. Then um, in that parley, all those powers voted the rose, the queen of flowers. But so as that herself should be, the maid of honor unto thee. Hmm. Okay, more. You know what? I have to go back and look at her picture really quick. You know, I stopped for a second when we looked at it. Hmm. Okay. Pattern paper. Again, this is upside down. Some pattern paper. Dictionary paper, two dyed papers. Goodness, I didn't think it was that many pages in here. Okay. Uh, music. Well, it's not a music sheet, but you know, from a storybook. And then lotion and herbs. All right. So again, that's the first journal. And this journal is number one. One second. Um, hold on. One second. And this is the wrap, uh, the ribbon that I just have wrapped around it. And I will put a, but a button a button on it. Um, and then here is the little, like, I didn't want to go too crazy with the. So this is the little um, hangy thing here with some beads on it. I just like it. Okay, so um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's the first one. And again, all I had to do was add the button to the front of it again. I think I could swear, and I see it was on here, but I, my granddaughter was here, and maybe the cat. <laughs> I was kitty sitting too, so I don't know. Somebody did it because <laughs> it was on there. <laughs> um, all right, so let me make sure I'm still in frame. All right. Okay. So this one, I don't know. I really like this pattern paper. Too. I mean, this wallpaper too. Okay. I probably would have had this somewhere in my kitchen. Just, just like a little a border or something like that. Not the whole thing. We don't need to go that crazy. And so this one here. Um, you know, I might have did a little extra because I was kind of like going a little far with this one. <laughs> but okay. Um, this one I think has a, does it? 
no, this one is not fabric on the inside. But um, I did a little bit more stitching and stuff on here. And again, here's some uh, vintage, this uh, recipe card is like from 1976. <laughs> and you know, I just put a little cluster of stuff here, you know, and sold it on. And again, made it so that this can be a pocket thingy. So again, one thing I like to do, because even like, uh, sometimes children can be kind of nosy and sometimes, you know, you don't want them to be. <laughs> so this is the best place I think to put stuff that you really don't want to buy all in your business like that. So again, you can put more stuff back there. Um, this is just from some pattern paper, a little scrap piece of paper from some pattern paper. And some old yarn, you know, I don't know. I just put that on there. All right, and then here we go with this. And I don't know, this could be something. I mean, I guess you could still write back here. Right? And um, that's the other side of the bag. Coffee tea dye paper. I really like this card for some reason. So I said, okay, now this look all right. Like if I was back in the 70s and you know, <laughs> and I saw this card, I would say, okay. So, you know, desserts kind of get a pass sometimes, but I'm talking about the food in those books, but okay. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Better Homes and Garden recipe cards and just put a little washi tape on there. And then what did I do here? Oh, and then just put some old paper. I don't know. I like this old paper right here, but it's, it's like kind of like the kind that's kind of brittle. So you don't want to be like folding it up to put it on pages. So I just use it as like little added pieces. Just like this. This was a little scrap piece of paper. I thought it looked nice. I just put it back there. And so then you have this grid sheet paper. Another thing from that vintage uh, furniture decorating book. Tea and coffee dye paper. Um, these are some cards. I got like a couple boxes full of these cards. Matter of fact, little stuff like that. I think I am going to start putting in a shop because... If I got like a big box of something, a lump sum, I'll just start putting stuff like that in there. And just, you know, if you guys wanted to get some, you could. But I think raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and strawberries are the berries that are on the cards. Um, and again, I don't know, this reminded me of somebody's kitchen in the 70s. <laughs> and this too. <laughs> so, and I just ripped it a little bit and sold it on here just to give it a little bit more um of layers and same thing with this just there's this stuff back here uh this pattern paper with cameras on it okay more it's coffee tea dye paper and i kind of still like the way that i don't know i'm addicted to sewing paper with the sewing machine <laughs> okay i don't know what it is it's just a thing okay and then ah i kind of like the way this turned out too actually now that i'm looking at it so again lemon balm i got some growing right here outside in the back even though I think it's going to seed, which is sad. You know, that happens. I guess when you don't trim it back like you're supposed to. Um, and then another little, I wouldn't call it a collage or nothing. It's just something that I did, okay? And you can put a picture in here if you want to. And then here's a pocket. This is some uh, wallpaper too, but it's kind of like a uh, you know how a band-aid, the, fam the fabric band-aids feel? Hold on, let me make sure I'm still recording. Okay, you know how a, a band-aid, the one fabric-y ones that, you know, they're not plastic? That's kind of like what this feels like, okay? Um, and then two little things to put in there. And again, these are very plain. Um, I wouldn't say plain, but simple, okay? Okay. Um, I'm getting used to having time now. So I have to try to find out how to really be serious about prioritizing my time. And so I think that's where I'm at right now. But when I do, I think I'm going to do like a huge, like four, uh, four signature. The first thing I want to do is a four signature um, journal with one of those big giant, uh, what do you call it? Uh, cereal boxes. And um, yeah, and use some larger paper. I know it's going to be a lot of work, but, you know, that's one of the first things I want to do. 
Because when I was little, you know, I used to like those books. Again, I'm always talking about the 80s. Why am I going back to the 80s so much lately? I don't know. But <laughs> um, I used to like those big, the golden books or any other books that were the giant ones. Actually, I had a whole bunch, like 10 of them that I got rid of when I got rid of my child, like uh, my collection of children's books. So again, this is cute. Okay. This little matte paper. These are some like photo holders or whatever that I have. Okay, that I rarely use. But again, you can slip pictures in there or whatever you want. Stencil paper. and Okay, I'm going to try to hurry up here. <laughs> um, a Brant duck. Wait, a, and a Canada goose. Huh. Okay. And um, again, more grid paper. Uh, pattern paper. This uh, stationary paper. Um, these are like some supposed to be envelopes or envelopes again if you want to sound real fancy and um this is an old rubble you know i'm just going through all my stuff <laughs> and trying to find things that i haven't ever used or anything so this is just an old rug bond that i have it's probably like 12 years old okay that's what i'm talking about <laughs> and so um again more stencil okay lemon verbena um, and then again, chicken wire. I thought this would be good for the occasion. We're talking, you know, farm, kitchen, whatnot. Um, more paper. Again, the fabric. I mean, the furniture pages. Okay. I like this. I don't know. It's something about the colors here in this pic in this picture. And even here, it's just so like, I don't know. Why am I going back, y'all? I'm going back to the '80s today. I'm going back to childhood for some reason. What am I going back to look for? <laughs> um, okay, cabbage rolls. Again, more of that paper. And again, I told you I love this here. Just the coloring of it and everything. Even though this look kind of nasty. I'm just saying. I like the, you know, the jar and stuff. I mean, the bowl or whatever. More pattern paper. Lavender. Coffee tea dyed paper. Again, cute little chair. This uh, napkins with the donut stamp. Why did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> um, and then here are the little um, hangy danglies. Right? Or like your little charms or whatever. Um, and again, this remind me of even my hair being braided when I was little and we get beads. Which remind me of a story when I was little. I, um, I talk too much, don't I? But anyway, what else we gonna do here? Um, I remember uh, playing around on the couch and I think we all had one of those times where you put both of your hands on the sides of the couch or another piece of furniture and you start swinging your legs back and forth. <laughs> but since I was just like that, um, I did that one day and ended up falling and a bee went right in my scalp. <laughs> it was so nasty. Okay, y'all didn't need to hear that. <laughs> but anyway, so now I was doing it. Actually, okay, I'm I'm kind of older now. Way older. Okay, like 40. Don't tell nobody. But um, I was doing it the other day. And then my daughter started doing it. And I don't know, I got afraid when she did it. But anyways, see, I do stuff like that. But I guess that's just me. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, more. Um, and this, I don't know, something about that door. See, I'm going to stop and look at pictures and stuff in this thing. I mean, y'all going to have to excuse me. But I don't know. I love that door. Okay. So, almost done. Relishes and sauces. And I don't know. I just like this color pink. I just like this book. Okay, and I'm not going I'm, I'm to say it again. I don't know. Some, certain things just make me happy sometimes. I guess small things are simple things. Hmm. Okay. More, more, more. All right. Okay. This video is probably going to be long, but it's all right. What are we doing here? Oh, okay. There we go. Mm-mm. <clears throat> 
the other piece that photo um, thing. Matte paper. Again, more of storybook paper. These hearts. I, I kind of like really like this paper too. I think it's like a, um, not Maggie Holmes, but uh, I can't remember what it is, but it's an older pad and I like it. A lot of orange. <laughs> Okay. Again, so, so like some of this paper, because I made a whole ream of paper one day um, that I did, and some of it was getting burned, and different things were happening, different beautiful mistakes possibly. Um, so again, you might get some paper, and it might be, you know, chipping off like that. But again, don't we like stuff like that? See? Okay. So again, this is another um, pocket. You can slip stuff in here if you want to. Okay. I like that paper. Okay, so anyways, now we have like a little pocket in the back. That fabric tape again. This little uh, poetry card. I like this. Okay, I'm stopped. Tell me to stop. Um, another recipe card. <laughs> and then this says recipe name. I didn't even notice that. I thought this was address book paper. But anyways, it's embossed with uh, roses. And I think that's like a um, Anna Griffin or a Griff, yeah. Uh, embossing thing. So again, here is the tie for it. And so I wanna hurry up and get this one done. It's my daughter's day today and I wanna, um, I told her I wasn't gonna be doing too much. So anyways, this is just some old lace trim that I had. Uh, antique buttons. Okay, these are old. Um, and then we got this here. I just, I don't know why I wanted something like a contrast, I guess, at the end of the page or the edge. So again, um, we got this in here. I don't know, just this image. Coffee tea dyed um, card. What is it called? flashcard okay just a little um notepad paper and another tag so again you can just write stuff on there um little notes and stuff like that and then also you can write like your name or something right here i thought it would look nice you know what i'm saying it's like in the beginning so what happened oh okay see all right, there we go. So spinach, chicken, and rice. Again, more of that dictionary paper. This is another uh, pad that I really like that I got. That's like, a, I don't think it was popular or anything, but I really like the colors in it. Uh, juniper, or ju yeah, juniper um, pattern paper. And again, this is some paper that I like to use just sometimes, but I really like this. I think I'm gonna try to, <laughs> scan it actually <clears throat> yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do um because i really like it and i'm every time i use a piece i'm like oh man <laughs> i ain't gonna have no more all right so i really like this with the little cute thing you know something about the colors here that i like a lot too some rice paper some japanese rice paper or trading uh, or tracing paper i'm sorry one or two okay uh, this is about waffles and grit again. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> okay, cakes. Okay, why am I reading here? Okay, you see it. <laughs> here. Um, yeah, so this kind of just goes up. And the washi tape is not stuck on there real good. I mean, it's, it's secure, right? Um, but if you wanted to reinforce it, you could, or you could not use it here. <clears throat> okay, writing. Okay, more, more, more. Um, again, orange French toast. Okay, we got a little tag up in here. Uh, okay, yeah, more pattern paper. And then I got these like, uh, you know, from the Dollar Tree probably like three years ago. 
and never used them and now that's what we're doing so i don't know why i just put this little thing of gold washi tape okay all right these are just halves here all right now we're moving I don't even know what these are, some kind of tags or labels or something like that that I got from an estate sale. I don't know. Every time I think about whatever estate sale I went to and I got stuff, I, I'm picturing myself in the place again. I don't know. I just have a problem with doing that. Okay. And then this, I got this a long time ago from somebody on YouTube, actually, when I used to do my videos uh, the first time around. A friend um, of mine from back then. So... All right, more grid paper, but it's lined on the back. Okay, these are perfect like little notes. You want to jot down something to remember. Maybe even one thing you always forget in a recipe. You know, that's why I kind of like this one here because you can kind of keep it in the kitchen. So again, we got, this is like some stuff from a broken vintage necklace. Okay, some beads. And I just put them on there like that. Okay. Right, this girl here. Uh, this is, is this embossed? I think I did try and emboss this. No, this is a, a, a rub on too. All right, some kind of vintage uh, craft paper. All right, more and more. There we go. Um, oh, look, we even got one of those things that you get on your, um, stuff when you keep it around in the kitchen. <laughs> a little spot, a little stain. You know, you'd be embarrassed when your, your mom send you to school with that paper the next day that she had to fill out and, and yours the only one always got a stain on it. <laughs> oh, okay. I do too much, but here, um, these are just like some little book in, uh, pieces or corners or whatever. Chicken cacciatore, boom, boom, boom. All right, here we go. Pinky, pinky, bang, bang. Hmm. And then these, I don't know, um, are just some little recipe cards that I guess, actually you can make this into a journal. And actually, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I just thought about it. I have a whole like stack of them down there. And that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, this thing is upside down, but hey. Okay. I'm trying to move as fast as I can. I just kind of just fold that around just to give it some something else. Um, yeah. We're going to stop talking about the pictures, right? Oh, what did I do here? Oh, maybe I just wanted that to be there. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess you could stick something in here, but again, it's really not stuck too well. So you can actually just take this off because it'll peel right off. It's really soft and um, easy to work with after you stick it. So, um... Anyhow, I think that's it. And um, again, um, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the Etsy shop. And that one is going to be uh, Leela Lane Vintage. And hopefully I'll be able to remember to put the link in the description in case you're interested in them. Um, and these journals, these journals here are going to be $20. Okay. But one thing I will do, like I said, with that first one is go ahead and add a button. And I think I'm going to add a pocket to the front because it seemed like I didn't do that for that one. Okay. So anyways, um, I'm going to, and I'll probably just list them A, B, and C or something on there. So again, um, I go, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.